So we're going to take the shrail and we're going to assemble it on a, an inverted litter. Then we'll flip the litter over once it's assembled so you guys can see it. Just to mention, this is how they come uh, packaged before you break them apart. So when you're carrying them in a ruck or in a vehicle, there'll be two of these. Each half looks like this. First thing you're going to do is loosen the uh, blue. And that's going to bring this assembly apart like that. And then we're going to put this male in into this female in until it clicks. Just like such. Then you work across the table to hook in the crossbars to the other end. So I'm working on his end, he's working on my end to secure the crossbar portion in place. And then you screw the red screws down first, followed by the blue ones to make sure that it's very snug. So shake it, make sure that it's stable with the litter, which this one is. Is your side good? Good, and it's time to flip it over. Now you have the litter with the rail assembled, and uh, then you're ready to put the attachments on. This is a mayo stand, a surgical tray that, as you can see here, can just slide right on. This is a standard attachment for any OR system. Here we have the pieces for a uh, Bookwalter self-retaining retractor. Let me move this out of the way so you can see what we're doing. So this attaches to the rail here. That's an arm for the retractor. And this is an already assembled uh, Bookwalter retractor with the retractor blades being held in place by a rubber band. Um, ultimately, if this was in a patient, it's the abdominal wall or the cavity wall of the patient that would be holding these retractors apart. So that's just simulating that right now. So as you can see, in a matter of minutes, we were able to take a litter on litter stands and assemble it into a fully functional operating room table. All the attachments you see here, they come from multiple different sources, which I truly believe is one of the major benefits of this rail system. This is a standard rail that comes from every OR in the Western world and, it, and can accept multiple different attachments from different manufacturers that are already in existence. And what that does for us is it provides a level of uh, comfort and security and abilities that we bring with us from our home institution to the very far forward environment and with relative ease, significant ease actually. Also, unlike other OR tables or uh, medical surgical adjuncts to the NATO litter, this can be taken to the point of injury and a patient can be put on it and some of these different attachments, like the arm boards or the IV poles, can be put on the rail, on the litter, at point of injury. And so, just to demonstrate how easy it is to move a patient with all of this stuff still on, um, you know, uh, you can't do that with any of the operating room tables that are in existence. What you have to do at that point in time is take the litter and the patient out of that OR, away from all those adjuncts that that OR table comes with, and then move them. And sometimes you have to attach new stuff or just transport without the adjuncts that could be potentially life or limb saving. So that is a huge benefit of the Shrail uh, system.